toe taps and toe lifts. Now this is not an easy one and it is always going to be a work in progress for most people. So what we want to try to start off with is you're trying to move your big toe by itself. Keeping the other four toes down, lift up the big toe by itself. As you can see, quite challenging. It's going to want to go off to the edge. That's okay for now. We can improve that later on. So that's the first one. Next, keeping the big toe down, you're going to pick up the other four toes. As you can see, again, quite challenging, but you can see those tendons working on the bottom of the foot. And once the brain works it out, it is really quite easy. After that one, we're then going to extend up all toes and you're just going to tap that big toe back down to the ground. First couple are always quite hard until the brain knows it. See the other toes want to follow. That's what we're trying to work out. We're trying to differentiate the toes between each other. And now instead of the big toe going down, big toe stays up and the other four come down. Cool. It's so like I say, quite tricky. Now, if this is really super hard and they're not going anywhere and your brain is just starting to explode, you can use your hands to help. So, fingers go over the small toes and you can just keep them down whilst bringing that big toe up. Same again. Put your fingers down on the big toe, lift up the other four. And then for the taps, extend them all up, basically hold up the four toes, tap that big toe down. And again, vice versa, hold the big toe up, toes go down. This is just a good aid to start with to get that mind and movement working together, get some connection, get some blood flow, get some muscle activation. Patience with this one, this takes a while. Do not expect to be an expert at this anytime soon. So there you go.